A little rain shower in the middle of the day here. 1.30. It is hot. Hey guys, uh, Stuart, mainly Vandas. Hope everyone's doing well today. So I'm out here today. Um, just turn on the sprinklers out here. I uh, wanted to do a video with you guys. Some of you guys have been requesting a video on the irrigation system I have. And um, you know, it's really simple process, uh, inexpensive, uh, anybody can do it. Um, you know, you don't have to have an, you know, a vast knowledge of irrigation or anything like that. Um, you know, you just need to, you know, go to the Home Depot store or wherever, Amazon and get some parts. And uh, you know you you can have a nice sprinkler system, you know that that to be honest with you rivals the the commercial growers. Um, you know, you know it, it's not as sophisticated per se, uh, you, you know, but it, but it, it works really well. Um, you know, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm able to grow these 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 very very nice award-winning vandas here, and um, you know my sprinkler system is is kept up quite well. So. I'm going to go ahead and show you this video. Uh, I would appreciate you guys liking this video and subscribing to the channel, obviously. So, you know, um, keep up to date on all the videos I'm going to be posting and, and whatnot. So, I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Thank you, guys. All right, folks. So, here's your basic timer uh, that I've been using now for quite some time. Uh, this is a dual station timer. Uh, it's got two hose outlets. Station 1, Station 2. And you can program this to go off basically at any time you want to. Uh, it's fairly easy to program. I believe this was uh, $45, $50 at the Home Depot. Uh, you can get them on Amazon as well. Um, if you don't feel like going up to the store, obviously. So, uh, And this basically just connects right to the hose spigot here on the side of the wall. And this acts as an irrigation timer. Uh, as you can see, I got, I got the hose connected to it. And this hose will go on and connect to the PVC pipe that I have um, rigged up to uh, irrigate the uh, orchids. So I'll go ahead and show you that as well. Okay, guys, so here's your basic setup that I have. Um, you know, there's numerous ways you can do this. I've just found this way easier uh, because I can pretty much bury the hose in the ground here um, if you need to. And... Uh, and you have this little 45 degree elbow here coming up. So all these fittings in these pipes are uh, three quarter inch schedule 40 PVC pipe. Uh, just to let you know. Uh, basically this is a, a hose fitting that adapts to PVC here. And you make a little, uh, little section here of the PVC. Then you connect to your 45 degree elbow. And then you're going to go up however much you need to go up. Okay, uh, here I have actually connected another spigot if I need to connect a hose to it. Um, this is useful if you have orchids that you don't necessarily want to water, or if you need to water more, or if you just want a hose connected to it. It's a really easy way to be able to um, just have an extra spigot in the yard as well. So this is basically just a, a T here. Uh, it's got threads on this part, and then you get your yourself a brass... Uh, Press valve here and you put some Teflon tape in it so it won't leak okay and you just screw that baby in and you know you can screw your hose onto the end of this just a basic spigot you know okay and then I have here what this is a ball valve okay so basically what this does is you can turn this on that's off okay so that closes the valve so if you only want to use this hose you can turn this off and it won't get uh, it, it won't send water up and in, up into the, the irrigation uh, Okay um, Or you can turn it on obviously and you know the water will keep go up and then You know here you can you can configure this any way you want guys uh, You know this is along my fence line So I just you know I went down the fence line and and these are some of my outdoor orchids that like the sun So these are the, some of the outdoor orchids that like the Sun a little bit more Dendrobiums. I got some of my tea tree bandas out here, uh, as you can see. So uh, you can see how long this line goes down. But I'll show you another example that's actually in the shade house as well. So 
Uh, here you can see one of the, the little sprinkler heads that I've used. Um, this is just a 180 degree spray sprinkler head here. So basically it sprays. So basically it sprays out this way and it sprays out this way and it'll spray down. It won't spray up. So, um, and I'll show you how, I'll show you how to do that as well. So, so as you can see, the sprinklers are on right now. Uh, you can kind of see how I've configured this. Uh, I've just put pipe everywhere and you can see that they're getting pretty soaked. Real simple way to do this. PVC, obviously, you just have to go and buy. It's pretty cheap. Um, you know, I think this, each section of this system, I have three, three different sections, cost, uh, I think a total of, with the timer, I want to say $100 or so. Uh, by the time all said and done, glue, sprinklers, uh, PVC pipe, fittings. So, it can be done. Okay guys, so here we're going to tap and dye the PVC pipe. And then we're going to take our sprinkler heads and we're going to um, put some Teflon tape around them and insert them into our PVC. Okay, this is a fairly simple process. Uh, it does not take long. Um, anybody can do it. You don't have to be strong. You don't have to be forceful. You don't have to do any th any of that, okay? So I have here my basic drill, okay? So this is what we call a die, okay? This is the die. This is what's going to thread. It's going to make threads in the PVC so our sprinkler can screw into the PVC. Okay, you can kind of see the threads, obviously. Okay, this is a 5 30 seconds drill bit, which is the tap. And this is the number 12 drill bit, which is the die. Okay, so we're gonna put our drill bit in here. Okay, and we're basically gonna take the PVC wherever we wanna put this, this sprinkler. Uh, obviously, these uh, sprinklers sprayed at different uh, widths and links and everything else so you want to read the package and um, you know see see how far they they go usually I spread them out about 16 inches 18 inches um, obviously this is the 180 sprayer here so you kinda these only spray down or uh, you know width wise it depends on where you you place this actually actual sprinkler head so be careful when you're doing that installing um, in your placement of these heads uh, this one will basically spray down so uh, we'll do this one and I'll show you guys um, so basically you want to pick a point along here I always like to use the guideline the stamped writing on here obviously um, most of the time it's straight sometimes it's not straight so make sure that it's straight uh, but most of the time it is um, so basically I'm just gonna I'm gonna put it down here so I'm just gonna drill make sure you go up and down with this though okay not sideways like this because you'll miss. So make sure you go up and down. So I'm just gonna drill right into this. And that's that, okay? So now I'm gonna switch to my die. Okay, and I'm gonna go real slow with this, okay guys? Uh, you don't wanna go fast with this. Okay, now you want to back it out real slow. Okay, and there we have made our hole for our, for our sprinkler. It's really simple. Okay, and then just screws right in. And that's it. I mean, after we connect this to the hose and the timer, you're ready to go. It's really, that's it. So. So I use Teflon tape to to um, make a seal on this. You can use PVC glue as well, 
but uh, I like the Teflon tape. It's cheap and it's less messy. So, and there you go. And that will screw right into here as well. So you can always change these heads if you don't like them or they get clogged. Sometimes they do get clogged. So you, they're pretty easy to change. I mean, you just unscrew it. Screw this one back in. And there you have it. So that's that, guys. So I appreciate it. Uh, if you like this video, appreciate it. You subscribe to my channel. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, take it easy, guys. Bye. So here's the, the PVC into the shade house, you can see. I mean, you can configure this any way you want, guys. So, um, you know, get creative. Uh, you know, the PVC doubles up as a hanging space, obviously, too. So just make sure that you clamp it up there. Uh, you see the little clamps I got right up there. So just make sure you screw those clamps in there. And, um, you know, obviously these are my more desirable plants. Uh, you can see why from the previous video uh, with the ones along the fence. Um, you know, these are lush, green. Uh, no spots on these things. Um, you know, I keep a close eye on, on what's going on. Because, you know, I got, I got a lot of money invested in this, and I'm sure you do too in your collection, you know. There's no sense in having a, a raggedy plant in there that that's going to, uh, you know, do harm to your collection. So, and it, and it goes on over there. So, I'll do a video uh, sooner or later on the, on the entire shade house for you guys. But, appreciate you. Thank you.